What's going on today, everybody? Today I'm gonna go over my personal reliability experience with Subaru as a brand overall, mainly focused on the WRX and STI versions of the Subaru. Now I've dealt with uh, Foresters and Imprezas in the past, you know, the base model Prez and stuff, Forester, Crosstrek, etc. But uh, all my personal ownings have been a WRX or an STI. So, you know, just going through some of the things that's happened to me over the years, you know, how many miles I put on each one of them, and uh, just some of the little nuances I've had with them over the years. Uh, uh, first Subaru I ever owned was a 2002 WRX. Bought it brand new when I was 19. I had it roughly 10 years. Can't remember how many miles I had on it when I got rid of it, but I'm wanting to say it was in excess of 150,000. Uh, that car, uh, had a VF34. It was uh, e-tuned by PDX tuning at the time. Had all the other supporting modifications on it. Other than that, just regular oil changes, diff oil changes, spark plugs, you know, just general maintenance overall. And the only thing that ever happened to it was about two years into ownership, um, the radiator started to separate from the intakes. They actually replaced it at the time with uh, an 04 updated radiator and it uh, maintained that radiator through the end of ownership. But through 10 years of ownership, 150,000 miles, never once left me stranded. Had all the, uh, I guess you could say, Eastern winters. Uh, the rust was actually gonna take it over more so than anything else. Starting to rust out pretty bad in the, uh, the fender wells and such. You know, I think that's just a, a typical thing with Subaru that sees any of these northeastern winters for any amount of years and miles as they just start to get uh, rusted out pretty heavy. Overall, like I say, that car never let me down and 20 inches of snow was actually lowered. Went through it just like a four wheel drive truck would and didn't, never had an issue. And then just moving right on down the line, next car, 2009 STI, it was a hatch. Um, had that, I bought it used actually, uh, with about 12,000 miles on it. From that point, I went to the Cobb Stage 2, just off the shelf map. And uh, when I actually got rid of it, it had a little bit over 100,000, like 101,000 miles on it. You know, general maintenance on that one. Never, never once had an issue out of it. Never a check engine light, no nothing like that. No uh, no oil burnt, no nothing. And, uh, it actually had a air oil separator on it. It was the Grim Speed version, the one that goes on the oil cap. If anybody knows about those. Two for two, as far as reliability goes, for me, it's no issues. Next car up was a 2016 STI. And actually, I didn't have it very long. Total miles on it when I got rid of it was like five grand. But uh, out of all of them I've had, that was the only one that I've ever had a check engine light pop up when it was basically stock. And it ended up being a, uh, a cam position sensor. Went bad and it was covered under warranty. Kind of a fluke accident on that. But you know, then I've got my 19 STI here, but uh, just before I get into that, just some things to note is that, you know, with the reliability of my personal dealings with it is that as long as you don't drive outside of their range, meaning beat the living crap out of them, you don't check the oil, you don't keep up with general maintenance and this, that, and the other, well, and you, uh, well, or if you have a really bad tune, tuning's a big thing with these cars. If they're not tuned well or it's got the correct tune in it, then you're just kind of asking for it. You're not on the interstate doing high gear low RPM roll-ons and stuff. I really think that these cars can pretty well stand up to whatever you want to throw at them. They say general maintenance goes a long way as far as reliability is concerned with the Subaru. You know, I'm I'm a fan of the uh, Rotella oil. I always use Rotella, I use it on everything. Use it on my race bikes in the past. Never, never had an issue for that for me. It's cheap, easily accessible. I know everybody's got their opinions on oil and that's cool, I get it. Like I say, general maintenance on these cars goes a really long way. As long as you drive with some uh, form of common sense, I think they'll do you well in the long term. 19 STI, you know, I've had it for, uh, it's coming up on four years now. It's not stock, it's Cobb 20G 
turbo, E85, all that. Almost 14,000 miles on it. Outside of any of the issues I haven't caused, it hasn't done anything crazy on me. Again, just general maintenance on it. Nothing, nothing outside of that. It's regular oil change, etc. cetera. So uh, do I expect this car to make it 150,000 miles in its current form? No, probably not. I don't ever expect that out of a modified vehicle. Any of the reliability issues that come out of it now, that's, that's on me. I do at least hope to get it to 20,000 miles. That'd be pretty nice. Not a daily driver for me. It sees about 4,500 miles a year or so. Some of the other Subarus I've dealt with in this area, a lot of the guys around here drive Subarus for work vehicles. And uh, the work vehicles around here see off-road use pretty regular. Uh, mainly, it's just an ongoing joke is that, uh, of course, the head gaskets and the oil I rarely ever see one broke down beside the road. Most of the time, they'll just slap some oil in it or put a new head gasket in it, keep on keep on driving. You'll see them around here with 250,000 miles. 200,000 miles is not unheard of around here. So I say usually the rust gets them before anything else does. That's just my opinion on the, the overall reliability of Subaru. Pretty good car, it has been a good car for anybody that's interested in buying one say if you treat it right it should treat you right if you enjoyed the video please leave a like we'll catch you in the next one